This week's parsha is named Chaye Sarah, after the phrase that appears twice in the first pasuk. Vayu Chaye Sarah mea shana v'yesrim shana v'sheva shanim shnei Chaye Sarah. If the Torah mentions the term twice, obviously it's significant, and from here the name of the parsha. But what's surprising is that a parsha that's about, in essence, the death of Sarah, it begins with the death of Sarah would be called Chaye Sarah. And the truth is that the other parsha in the Torah named after life, or named life, is also about death, Vayichi Yaakov. And here the obvious question is why we name a parsha that's about death after the life of the individual that dies. And I think the answer to this question has to do with appreciating what the essence of one's life really is. And the question of the significance of life hinges on what continues after one's death. And what's interesting is that both of the stories that occur in the aftermath of Sarah's death are about the significance of her life. The first story is about her burial. And her burial isn't just about her being put somewhere in the earth, but the circumstances of her death and burial are the beginning of the eternal connection of the Jewish people with the land of Israel. She's going to be buried in a place that's going to be the first achuza, the first land owned by the Jewish people. It'll be an achuzat kaver, where the ownership is expressed through the presence of the owner for eternity in that place. The second story in the parsha is, of course, about finding a wife for Yitzchak. And what we hear at the conclusion of the story in the end of Perich of Dalit is, Vayivyeha Yitzchak ha'oel asaraimo. Yitzchak takes Rivka into the tent of his mother. Vayikachet Rivka v'atihilo li'isha vayyehaveha. He takes her as a wife and loves her. And the context, vayinachem Yitzchak achareimo. It's into the tent of his mother. And it leads to his consolation, finally, for his mother's death. Unkelis explains the significance and context of this, and he says that he took her into the tent. What does it mean? He saw that her ways were as upright, as correct as the ways of his mother. Yitzchak, after his mother's death, is looking for someone who lives up to the standard of his mother. Finally, the parsha concludes, Avram is about to die, but before dying, it says, Vayitein Avram et kol asher lo Yitzchak. He gives all that's really valuable to him, to Yitzchak. V'levnei apilak shemasher le'avram, natan Avram matanot v'yishalchei me'al Yitzchak benobo denuchai. The other children, he gives gifts, parting gifts, sends them off. Yitzchak is going to be the true inheritor. Kliyako here writes, this is the ultimate victory of Sarah. Sarah had said that the other children of Avram should be distanced from him. Gareshet ben ha'amazot ki v'yitzchak yikar el chazara. And here, finally, the moment before his death, Avram confirms Sarah's beliefs that Yitzchak is going to be the true son, the true continuation and only continuation of Avram's real legacy. In the aftermath of Sarah's death, we see the significance of her life because her dreams are being fulfilled. Her path is continued. It carries the day after she's gone. The continuation with the land of Israel, the continued heritage of Yitzchak's wife continuing her path, and Yitzchak, her son, being the true continuation of Avraham. We know what the essence of a person's life really is once they're no longer here to ensure it. And that's how we can see that it really had an impact. The parsha is called Chaye Sarah because we see in her death and the aftermath the true power of her life. And hopefully all of us can live in a way that we impact in a way that extends beyond our physical life existence in this world. Let's be inspired by Chaye Sarah, by the life of Sarah, to live similar lives. Shabbat Shalom.